<laughs> what? <laughs> Got enough markers in your pocket what? there, John? I need a pocket protector. Interventional radiology is doing minimally invasive surgeries using image guidance. We do several procedures through small incisions. We keep patients out of the hospital and get them home as quickly as possible. I'm gonna to try to be as exciting as Chris usually is and energetic when he does these, he gets his hands moving. And anyways, we're at Great Lakes Medical Imaging today and we're gonna talk about a procedure that we're gonna do called percutaneous or through the skin, renal or kidney cryoablations. So this is my weak attempt at being an artist. So basically what we do is we sticking a needle into the kidney through the skin. We kill cancer that develops within the kidneys. So that cancer is called renal cell carcinoma and it's called a primary cancer because it develops within the kidney versus a metastatic cancer, which is a cancer that begins at another location and spreads to, you know, whether it be the kidney or, or lung or different spots. So this is the treatment of primary kidney cancer or renal cell carcinoma. It works really well in smaller cancers that are picked up early or for patients that can't tolerate a major surgery. You know, if you go in surgically and you remove the tumor, you can lose parts of the kidney and part of the kidney function. So this is actually a, a nice procedure for sparing functional kidney tissue. So the way the procedure works, and we'll, we'll take a look at the diagram here. You can see the kidney outline in purple. The blue obviously represents the veins and the red represents the arteries. The yellow is the renal collecting system or where the urine collects and then drains from the kidney. So when we're doing this procedure, um, there's an option either you can burn the kidney or you can freeze the kidney. We like freezing the kidney because it's, it's not as painful and it's very forgiving to these really delicate structures, the arteries, veins, and the, and the collecting system. It doesn't cause as much trauma to these structures within the kidneys. So basically, and you'll see when uh, Becky's in filming the procedure, we use the CAT scan to guide our needles. It's a, it's a 17 gauge needle, usually a minimum of two needles we put into the tumor. And then an ice ball forms around the tips of the needles and freezes the tumor to death. And and at the same time, we're, we're paying attention to the size of the ice ball to make sure that we're, we're sparing kidney and sparing those vital structures that are next door. So basically what we do is we just take a needle and we advance into the tumor and we like two needles. In this case, we're gonna use two needles. The needles are hooked up to a generator that has um, helium and argon gas that cycles through the needles and creates this ice ball around the tip. Initially, I'm gonna go in and take a biopsy and then you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and put the needles into the tumor and we'll do a CAT scan to confirm that we're happy with where the needle placement is. And we also, again, wanna make sure that we're paying attention to these vital structures within the kidneys, but we also wanna pay attention to structures around the kidney. So other blood vessels, the bowel, the abdominal wall, the tumor is down here. We don't wanna create an ice ball that damages the ureter. So really, really nice procedure. The patients tolerate it well and they go home the same day uh, provided that everything goes smoothly so that's a percutaneous renal cryoablation let's go take a look let's go do the procedure and let's treat the cancer that it's safe to insert into the patient. So in a second here, we'll show you the ice actually on the tip of the needle. It gives you an idea of what it's actually doing that's inside the patient and inside the lesion. There's a look at the ice ball that forms on the tip of the needle. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a second needle here. It's our second needle that we're gonna place parallel to the other needle. for 10 minutes and then we're gonna do a five minute thaw and we're gonna freeze again for about eight minutes then a three minute thaw and we can remove the needles after that so one of the nice things about cryoablation in the kidney is it's a lot of things that we can potentially injure and cryoablation is very forgiving so in terms of injuring the the system that collects urine and the blood vessels it's pretty forgiving it's a lot more comfortable than burning things so we, we like that in the kidney the patients tolerate it really well we'll keep an eye on him now and, and uh, proceed with the procedure.
So I hope you enjoyed the case that we did today at Great Lakes Medical Imaging. We, we were able to do a renal cryoablation and treat kidney cancer with a, a great result and the, the patient was very satisfied and gets to go home today. It's kind of an exciting weekend. Dr. Chris and I are, are, are interviewing potential candidates to join our interventional radiology practice so you may see some new people on the vlog. Dr. Chris isn't here right now but I'm sure Becky will edit something in with him uh, very energetic and his arms going everywhere. So for now though, I'm Dr. John and I'll say for Dr. Chris, we'll see you in the next case.